Hey everybody, uh, Tim Fullerton here, and I just wanted to talk about a topic that I'd seen discussed uh, quite a bit on uh, sites like uh, Post and Twitter and some other uh, channels uh, about the use of a discharge petition in order to raise the debt limit uh, in the United States, which we actually just hit today. Um, as most people know, there's a lot of opposition on the Republican side, including in the House leadership, uh, to raising the debt limit without offsetting it with some severe, severe cuts in domestic spending, uh, which would be devastating to uh, folks on Social Security, Medicare, uh, social services in general, something that I think the majority of people are very much against. So I've heard a lot of talk on the, on the side that wants to raise the limit uh, about using a discharge petition to do so. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about this right now, about what a discharge petition is and how difficult it would actually be to do so. Um, you know, I'm doing this uh, mostly because I want people to understand the processes and really focus our efforts on uh, continuing to pressure uh, House Republicans to actually come to the table in good faith and uh, figure out a way to raise the debt limit so that um, we don't see uh, devastation across all sectors of our economy, which is exactly what would happen if we default uh, on our debts. So a discharge petition is really, it's a, it's a very old rule. Um, that has not been used very much in the last 100 years or so, which allows the majority in Congress to bypass House leadership uh, to get a bill to the floor. Um, the challenge with this is that you, it requires essentially all of the, the minority, in this case, the Democrats, to agree, and also five Republicans, um, which would actually uh, mean that they would be bucking their party leadership and uh, going it alone uh, against, you know, 200 something Republicans and joining with the Democrats. Um, it's also an incredibly long process. Um, a bill has to be introduced uh, to a committee and it has to actually sit there for 30 days or more with no action before you could even start uh, the petition uh, process. And then at that point, uh, it has to go to the rules committee for at least seven days. So you're already up to 37. And then you also got to get 218 members to sign this petition. And it is a public petition. This is not a private vote. So they know their votes will be out there um, as they should be. And um, and then you really have to to weather the storm from the moment of the discharge petition being, being uh, signed to uh, when they would actually bring the vote to the floor, which there are some arcane rules about, I think it's the second or fourth Monday in a month. Um, that they'll bring it up. So there's a lot of time from the beginning when you've probably uh, given your support uh, to when this would actually uh, pass and then go to the floor for a full floor vote uh, to raise the debt limit. So that's putting a lot of pressure on five Republicans to buck their party and then, uh, you know, have probably two months of uh, hearing from their, you know, their base, um, from the uh, from super PACs and from their donors, uh, which seems like a tall order because frankly, most of the moderates in the Republican Congress have left. So finding five that would be able to weather that storm and actually want to um, is pretty close to impossible. It's not saying it shouldn't, does, it won't happen and that we shouldn't try, but it seems very unlikely. So I just sort of want to temper some people's expectations. And I thought doing it on a video could be a, a, a better way than writing a 50 uh, tweet thread or post threads. So um, just thought I would come here and talk about that. Um, let me know what you think. I haven't done one of these before. You know I'm not usually in front of the camera, but I thought this could be kind of an interesting way uh, to utilize a bunch of platforms to let people know what a discharge petition is. So let me know in the comments what you think. Um, I'm thinking about doing more of these depending on the interest and whether people like them. Um, and if you do like them, please uh, please hit the like button below and, uh, and subscribe uh, so we can start building a base here of people. And hopefully I can come up with some more videos that describe uh, other parts of how the government work, uh, based on my, you know, half decade or so in the federal government and two years in state government as well. So thanks for watching and let me know what you think.